We have had a huge disaster hit Zillowood. All the while I was on vacation. While I'm sipping Mai Tais out in, ba- out in the Bahamas, I get a phone call that a meteorite is coming for the city. And so, obviously, I hop on a plane, I rush back, only to find out that it has hit our airport. And so, after doing an emergency landing, I'm able to finally come out and tell the people that I am sorry. And they are asking us a ton of questions, like, why is there not an emergency response unit? Why are there not shelters? How did a meteorite come for the city and us not know? And these are all viable questions, very important. And I just want to take a moment to commemorate the lives that were lost and to also accept a gift we received a nice little memorial shortly after receiving it it's kind of weird but it definitely is unrelated but it is a nice meteorite park and so the city has dubbed this area a memorial now in a memorial now in remembrance of the airport and all the beautiful architecture that it was and and all the lovely tourism that we have now lost and you know of course the lives the lives are really important and so the city is really upset they're calling for my impeachment and so i need to act fast and so what we're going to do is build this out real quick and so the first thing actually we need to do is build that disaster response unit because the people are just really upset they're you know rioting they were just down at our city hall and people are extremely upset and so we are actually going to come over here and place it right here it's in our somewhat industrial area and i think it's a really good location for it and because it is a new building we are going to place down some nice trees around it because i feel like this would be something that the city would be spending a lot of money on and so to make it into a nice little area i think would be kind of fitting and so we're going to go like that and then we're just going to come and put a little bit of shrubbery around the outside even though this would increase our fire risk. And so the people are really upset. We need to do a deep space radar as well because the fact that a meteorite came and hit the city without us even knowing is a huge concern. It really makes you know me and us, the administration, just look really bad. And it's just not good for re-election and for a number of reasons. And so we are definitely going to be spending this episode uh, trying to make up for some of the losses and the mistakes that we've made. Um, early on and so let's go ahead and do that and I think this is you know a pretty nice little area the city spent a lot of money on it we imported these rocks from Italy and so this is a you know big area I think it's a win this area looks really good um, and so now we need to identify an area for the deep space radar and I kind of like it over here somewhere especially now that we don't have the airport if we want to stay on the positive side I think it is good that Maybe it has freed up a location for us to do a nice um, deep space radar kind of emergency service center. And I think we're just going to branch off of this road right here since we already kind of have a connection. And it's kind of interesting. I didn't realize that this this uh, highway was so far off the ground, but I guess it's not a huge concern. We are going to go like that, and then we're just going to go like that. And then I think we are going to grab a little road and come off the back side. Just go like right there, come over here. And it's not a huge concern for us to have that like that right now. It Having it a little bumpy is an issue, but because we're not really going to have a lot of traffic out here, it's really not the end of the world. And so, um, so first things first, we need to place this guy so that we can prevent that from ever happening again. And Make sure that the people understand that we do care. We do care. We're sorry. And you know what? I think this looks pretty good. Um, we are going to put a little fence around the outside as well. And I'm going to utilize the parallel, parallel mode tool. We'll go like that. And we'll go like that. But, whoa. No. I guess not. So we'll we'll just go like that, and then we can always shift this back. It does for some reason always tend to do that, but it's not the end of the world. Though we didn't get this one, which is kind of a problem.
And there we go. So now we got a nice little fence around it. Um, we have built the deep space radar, and so now we are hopefully not going to be caught by surprise if it ever happens again. The people are pretty pretty scared. They're saying that there's like a meteor shower that's happening right now, and that's why it had happened here. And I guess the rest of the world had been pretty aware of the meteors potentially coming and hitting earth but uh for some reason we just you know the city officials the people in my cabinet who were in charge of paying attention to stuff like that were not and so you know i would have loved to have been paying attention but it's just not my job and so i uh you know didn't notice and so i i definitely need new people and so we are going to place this guy like right there and then we're gonna come in here and place this guy as well we'll put him right there put him in the middle even though we did just build that oh so nice little uh, garden right there and then let's put a tsunami buoy though i don't know how likely a tsunami is you know it's just we're trying to cover all of our bases right now and i do want to provide some shelters over here too so i actually think we are going to shift this guy over and we'll probably put it right there. And then I want to place these guys like right there. One, two, three. And we'll do four. I think that's really nice. And it's fitting as well. And there we go. And then let's just put some trees around this too. Since the city would be spending a ton of money on this. And blah, 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 blah. And perfect. Look at that. And then we just need to connect it up with power now. And we should be good. And perfect. And so now we have deep space radar. We have pretty much everything we need. We'll put a little earthquake sensor right here just for redundancy. And it just so happens that it bridges our electrical gap right there as well. Um, and then I do want to work on that memorial since we um, since we received that gift. It's really nice. Um, we do kind of have some issues with some of our infrastructure in here. And so we need to come in here first and then I think we are going to upgrade some of these roads to a better fitting road. I think we are going to go to a two lane right there. Probably keep the one lanes on this side just because it does uh, serve a pretty good function and so and voila, voila. we still got some fires. I'm not sure if the fire department is still coming or if they have uh, given up maybe or and though we're not going to tell anybody, the city has decided to spend the money to ship these rocks over. Um, we feel like it's just not a great time to tell people that we're spending money on something like this. And so let's just keep that between you and me. We just want to make room for this memorial. It would be really important. You know, we um, lost a lot of lives and, and yet we gained this lovely uh, rock garden and we did just lose those rocks on the side that the city had just spent all that money placing and so that is definitely a shame and once again just you know don't say anything about it we don't want uh, people getting upset I'm just gonna place that right there I think that's good and then we are gonna wait for the rest of this to clear before we fill in any more of the landscaping but I do want to come over here and do a nice little path and just create an area for people to um, go and actually view the meteor. There are actually some of these in real life. Um, there's one of these in, uh, in Arizona and it's actually really cool. It's definitely worth a visit. It's a huge meteor. Like that's a huge crater, I should say. And there we go. Um, it's a little bumpy, but because of the terrain, I feel like it would be um, okay. Like you would be going in here knowing that the terrain wasn't very stable. And so we are going to go back into that little parallel line tool and go like that and go like that and voila. And then I do want to come back in here and we're just going to go like that and like that. And so now it's, it's fenced off. It's a little safer. Nobody's going to fall in. None of these paths are really uh, too crazy, though they are bumpy. This would definitely not be something that um, 
this would definitely be something that you would want to pay attention to as you're walking. Um, we did end up losing one of our metro lines as well. I believe it is the light purple one. Yeah, it is. Look at that guy. We're just going to leave the tunnel there for right now. Um, the city spending money to demolish that tunnel, especially in a time like this, isn't really seen as a proper use of city funds. And there we go. And then I think we're just going to leave this front side empty so that people can actually view it. Um, but I think this is a pretty good memorial. We got the, the meteorite park over there. And again, unrelated. Um, and so now that we have our memorial, what I do want to do, since we are still receiving quite a bit of pressure from the populace, is create some more of these large emergency shelters. So each one of these is 10,000 population. We have about 150,000 people. So we need about 15 of these. And so we have four right now. And so what I'm thinking is we will probably create another little compound over here. And I do want to create a little road off of it since each one of these does have an entrance. And so it's not super smart to have them um, like right off a main road because they're just prone to being blocked in. And especially with something like this, you would want them to have good access. Three, four, five, six, seven. We'll do eight. I think that is pretty good. This is definitely a lot, but... I think for the city, this would be something that would be an adequate response. And then I just want to do some trees around it as well. And there we go. It does uh, kind of upset me that it's a little gapped right there, but I think because of the whole snapping scenario, it uh, just didn't want to fit in too well. And so, And then we are going to do a nice little bit of trees right there. And then we'll do some foliage too, just because why not? And I do want to go in and mess with our priorities on this road a little bit. And there we go. It is a little bit bumpy. Um, but I think it works good for our function. We are having a little bit of some traffic issues. I think maybe because of the meteor. Or I'm not exactly sure why. We were actually doing pretty good. But now, yeah, it looks like 71, and it looks like over here we're potentially having some traffic issues as well. A lot of these are just because I, I didn't actually set up any of the priorities. Um, just because I like to leave room for improvement if we do um, start to have issues. And so I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to tell them to continue on. Because we're not really getting a lot of traffic that is moving around this guy. And so to tell them to just come off is probably our best answer. But then over here, what I think would be good is to actually come in and upgrade this road. So we're going to go to a four lane one way road and we, well, with double, we do not want parking. Um, and we're just going to upgrade this guy. And then we're going to go to the other side just for redundancy's sake and go like that. And then we're going to control shift click. Control shift click and then what I'm gonna do is actually come in here and open up that second lane to also turn since we have that dedicated turn lane you can also allow this second lane to turn in and what it does is it just provides another option for the cars to choose um, because this is a cargo terminal um, this is already a pretty congested area especially because we have that warehouse right there too this is a six lane road though and so we shouldn't be having too many issues, though it does look like we are having some issues right there. Um, we do not want people cutting in. Like if they miss cutting in before that, then they need to stop. It does look like we have a little car parked right there though, which is definitely an issue. And there we go. Maybe that whole car park right there was probably our main issue, but also allowing people to cut in from the outside is a problem. Because even these guys, like, they're cutting the whole line and then just cutting cars off. It's just causing the whole backup. But now that we have upgraded that, we should experience a little less traffic on this, though it is backing up pretty far. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. We'll probably on the next episode do a whole traffic fix episode because we have a lot of room for improvement here. Going back to our shelters, we now have 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we need about three or four more. I think we'll do four more just to um, just to be safe. And I think right here is a pretty good spot for it. Though I think coming off of this road isn't the most ideal of situations. Um, because these are not going to be utilized a whole lot, we are just going to go ahead and do it. And so I'm really hoping that, you know, we, we never really have to use these, but, um, again, the city is pretty upset. And so this, I feel like is the best response. Cause then at least now we can kind of show everybody that we did take it seriously. And, that you know, the lives lost were really important and, and that if it ever does happen again, we are going to be prepared or at least better prepared and so and there we go and then it does look like we need some water and voila and yep they're connected to electricity and there you go and so i think you do need to set up an evacuation route as well um this is kind of a little high maintenance but so third one in we'll do this one the first one this one the second one so the third one we will have come up here we'll have it just turn around and then go like that and we don't want to make them too complicated um, we want to make them pretty simple Okay, and so now we pretty much have the entire city covered with, an, with evacuation routes. Um, I ended up splitting them up, so like these ones over here pretty much cover this area, these ones over here cover this area, and then most of the downtown, and a lot of this section as well, and then these ones up here pretty much cover these guys, which, you know what, we forgot about our college town. That is kind of an issue. Um, we would want at least one to go over here. The college students are important. And we'll have that stop right there. Um, I'm not really sure of the overall effectiveness of these, but you know the, the main point is for us to just show the city that we are building to make sure that if this ever does happen again, that we'll be okay. Um, that being said though, I really don't think we are going to experience another uh, Another scenario like that, but you never know. Okay, I so mean, let's go ahead and move on to our completely unrelated hunt for unique buildings. And so there are a couple in here that we could easily get. Construct seven instances of university, and then unemployment rate over 50%. That seems to be another one where we could potentially destroy the city. Destruction with no casualties? I mean, that could definitely happen if we get a meteorite somewhere um, other than our airport or city section, but I guess we'll just have to see. <laughs> And so win any three scenarios, we can't do that one. And then win floodlands. And I believe there was another one in here for universities, but maybe that's the only one. And so um, construct seven instances of university. So basically what we could do is just say that maybe the city has decided because of recent events that they want to pump up their higher education. And this could also be deemed as a response to recent events. Um, we are hopeful that by building out 
new universities and providing access, we can actually attract out-of-towners to move to the city in hopes of going to college since now I mean our capacity is 53,000 and we only have 12,000 eligible so our our higher education is just really beefed up now we have two major universities but then we also have seven sub universities almost like uh, like technical schools or something and so we could definitely definitely see that as it, it does actually look like we are about to be hit by it something else i'm not sure exactly what this is but we're gonna go ahead and hit evacuate and see how this works it's so weird we it, oh my god look it's actually another meteor so maybe we did need to get that other building i'm so it's destruction without casualty so fingers crossed that maybe this isn't in the city but i i think we maybe have a couple minutes um i'm not really sure with how long so it does look like these buses are leaving uh, we have a little siren going off, and so this is this is definitely not great. So, I mean, at least I'm here this time, and so we can see uh, what exactly happens, and we can see if these are actually effective um, in saving people or not. And it does look like maybe they're not even fully set up. There's not a lot of food, so if this is, like, I mean, really bad, we could, we could be in bad shape. And so I'm not really sure. We're waiting to see if our scientists can spot it yet though I think because we have the deep space radar oh man what's oh look at this guy no oh well you know what we I think we nearly escaped a huge disaster there we got really lucky this could have been terrible um, and I think by it hitting out here it kind of shows that I guess meteors are more uh, more common than people think and so now we even have a little scar on our mountain. This is I mean pretty crazy um, We are still evacuating our citizens and so we can at least now see so the meteor hit Let's see if anybody's actually inside the shelter. So zero zero Why are the what's happening? So I don't think this is actually so it looks like trucks are still trying to deliver to our cargo centers while the city is evacuating which is causing backups on the free on the roads and so i i think what's happening is most people in an evacuation scenario just continue living their lives this is very interesting even the theme park's still open they got rides going the roller coasters chugging up the hill and and all the while uh you know um evacuation sirens are blaring and the trucks are trying to evacuate everybody. This is really interesting. Um, and so I guess we can just leave that for right now and see how long it takes. Because this is kind of an issue. Maybe we should split these up. I mean, I don't think any of these buses have picked anybody up yet. We can even look over here. Maybe this one's fared a little better. Oh, 10 people. So 23. This one actually ha is doing much better than that other one. Maybe because people are walking to it as well. Yeah, it does look like people are walking to it. So, um, citizens, and remember to release citizens once the disaster has passed. Okay, so I, I mean, I think it's passed, but I'm interested to see that, you know, if we did get hit with something really big, most of our citizens would have died, um, even though we do have appropriate shelters. Most of these people just... Do not stop what they're doing. They continue living their lives, and they, you know, the trash service is still picking up its its trash. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff that people just continue living on. This is a real problem. This would be something where we would have to maybe come out with like a public service announcement and tell people like, hey, this is you know not great. You should um, definitely take evacuation seriously, but. I think in the greater scheme of things, I think we may have unlocked, so destruction with no casualties to gain the pyramids to have a disaster hit the city with no casualties. So I think that did happen, but for some reason, maybe because it didn't destroy anything. Um, so that's kind of funny. It came out of nowhere. Oh, what is, what's it? We're getting some sort of big wave out over here. I wonder if the meteor hitting over there caused some weird kind of scenario. Not entirely certain, but it does look like our water is a little messed up over here. 
This seems like a pretty big, uh, pretty big area, though. I think the boat's, I mean, not going to have any issues with it, so. Looking at me is just chugging up that guy. I think maybe this is potentially a tsunami, but I think maybe because... So, open disaster reports. Congratulations, the city did not suffer damage. Aftermath of recent... Okay, I mean, that's nice. Um, we didn't have any damage. And it does look like, I mean, our water is kind of affected by the meteor, but... I think now that, uh, you know, we have succeeded, though we didn't unlock this, which... Even though the populace doesn't know, that is our main objective, and so... That kind of sucks. Oh, and you know, it's so funny for the seven universities, it's, I forgot we were doing that as right when the meteor hit, we were uh, building out those universities. Um, it says maintained for 10 weeks, and so we still have six more weeks, and so that's definitely coming. Um, but for right now, I think we, we definitely need to wait. It's so interesting, I guess. Um, so I guess we could tell these people that they can go back home since none of them got evacuated. These ones, I mean, fail miserably. Let's see if a lot of people come out of this one. Oh, yeah, look at this. All these people, they're just coming out. Coming out of the woodworks. I mean, these ones worked really well. Um, those other ones did not work well. For some reason, the, the deliveries were still just happening at a really fast pace. And, yeah. So we now know that in the event of a disaster, we should probably turn this off maybe um, because these delivery trucks are just like, I got to work on my shift. I'm not giving up because of some, you know, air raid siren. All right. So we uh, survived that. And let's go ahead and look at our next one. So unemployment rate over 50%. No casualties. We're Obviously not going to be able to get that one. So 5,000 squares of organic and local produce specialization. Floating gardens. Now, we can actually do this one pretty easily. Um, we just need to start designating areas as organic and local produce instead of whatever they are. And so I think for... I don't want to destroy everything, but let's see how changing this... I mean, this is our huge tourist area. Let's, you know, just for the sake of experiment, let's go in and change this to organic and local produce. Just because why not, you know? So there we go. And let's see our lovely tourist area. I, you know, absolutely love this area. This was one of my favorite episodes, though it didn't do that well. Um, I think just because I was still kind of a brand, brand new creator. And so I just wasn't getting a lot of exposure. But building out this area was really fun. Um, along with the theme park and everything because I ended up doing the amusement park right here and nature preserve and then the zoo which we never completed because we were trying to unlock it but due to the area of this it just didn't work out that well but we did the little cable cars and everything and I thought it looked really cool um, but yeah not a lot of people watch the episode so if you're interested um, it was actually a two part series and so you can go back and check it out I'll put a link in the top right corner and so let's see now, I think if we go in here, so, so 2046 is what we're at. And I think these people are probably going to be really upset. We're closing down pretty much everything and turning it into little organic shops like Whole Foods and Trader Joe's or uh, any sort of organic and local produce retailer. Um, we're demolishing all these hotels. I think people might be pretty upset. Okay, while we're at it, um, we can go through and do another one. We could actually just go through and start doing it on all of them. I just, maybe we'll do that. We'll um, come through here and let's just see about turning everything to organic and local produce and see what it does. I mean, I'm interested because this could be terrible, like, destroy our city terrible or uh, just make us like a really eco-minded city like we only allow organic and local produce commercial retailers in our area even in like heavy tourist areas it's all just organic and local produce everything all of it 
That's all we have. That could be like our nickname, just organic and local produce sector. If you're looking for organic and local produce, come to Zillowood. I think we may potentially destroy a lot with that, especially in our downtown area. I'm interested to see because we... A lot of this was tourism and or high density commercial and so now a lot of it is going to be destroyed so it definitely looks like we have collapsed our commercial demand um it's very interesting i i felt like because we're getting rid of all of our commercial that uh the commercial demand would still stay pretty high but i guess not um but I think maybe we'll just have to let this run for a second and see if it balances out in some other way. Okay, so it looks like we have experienced some sort of tsunami, and it was when I was away, of course, and so this is a huge disaster. Once again, we are going to try and evacuate once again, and we already know that this whole sector doesn't do well, and you know what? It's already too late. This is just terrible, but I think we may get that tsunami one this guy was it i don't even know oh you know pyramid so we got the pyramid of safety which is great and it does look like we may have gotten the other one too Ex uh, experience thunderstorm so disaster memorial so i guess the tsunami was not enough even though it has caused so much wreckage and is just destroying everything we're just going to go ahead and evacuate everybody because this seems to be some sort of disaster outbreak. I mean, this is just crazy. These, look at that. They're all underwater. I mean, how, look, the boats, the fishermen are not giving up. These people are dedicated. Look, they're going underwater to deliver their fish. This is just uh, unprecedented. I mean, these. this is dedication. Look at this guy. He is going to go. He's up. Oh, yep. He dove down to deliver his fish. He's like, I'm not giving up. This is not the end for me. This is my job. I've worked this hard to get here, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to finish it. Even though, I mean, these people seem happy. Maybe they weren't very happy with the harbor, and so now they're just uh, happy with the way that things are going. Though it does appear as though maybe we're missing out on water somewhere. Um, I don't know. Uh, so water availability... Did we knock out our electricity somewhere, or? It does appear as though, oh, you know what? <clears throat> it's because we are having that weird growth with um, organic and local produce, and so this is definitely kind of an issue for us. I think deciding to switch everything to organic and local produce probably wasn't the smartest approach, because it does look like we are experiencing some power outages due to um, our power grid being disconnected so we're just going to go in and artificially connect these up real quick just because we do have the electricity and I don't want these to um, end up having problems though it does look like we still are going to have some issues and you know what the I mean the power grid is doing okay we're evacuating everybody and so I I think it's okay um but let's see, I guess. Uh, city needs more water, so maybe... I mean, is this guy disconnected too? Yeah, look at that. He's disconnected too. So let's go in here. 
connect that guy up. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, look at that. Electricity. So now we got more water again, which is super important. We don't really, I mean, we're already losing quite a bit of citizens. We've already lost 25,000, but uh, maybe that's because of our haphazard evacuation efforts. Um, I mean, these buses are still just extremely confused. Even though it does look like, I mean, they've brought some people back, maybe. So I'm really not sure how this could get any worse. I know we do need to have that thunderstorm, but I feel like with the meteor and now this huge wave uh, happening, we would probably be having some serious issues with... Uh, oh, look, we have our little disaster response um, helicopter, and so they're going to come down and clean all this up, which is great. Look at these guys. They are just... They're working great. They got a rescue dog. Searching for survivors, um, which is great. We're already, I mean, so many people are moving in. 7,000 a week. I mean, everybody is just flocking here. Bet you we have some more rescue operations going on. Um, this is probably going to take a little while, but, you know, it's uh, it's necessary. I don't really know why. So it says fishing route. I guess maybe the fishermen gave up and you know mid dive they decided that they just couldn't do it anymore and we still are having about 3,000 new citizens a week come in um, though our push for organic and local produce may have not worked out as well as we were hoping um, I think we did unlock the what we were hoping to get though I'm not even I don't remember at this point you guys will probably just have to go back maybe and look at what we had unlocked but we uh, have almost all of our unique buildings, which is good. You know, um, <clears throat> it does look like maybe we are going to get to that uh, unemployment rate over 50% as well, which could be another positive for this. Um, so destruction with no cat. Oh, man. Look, so we're, we're still a little bit away for the floating gardens. And so we are pretty close to having all of everything that we could have short of the scenarios ones um i think the 50 percent unemployment might be reached up oh, no we're at 23 percent right now it looks like maybe we bounce back which is good i mean jobs are important and so it does look like maybe that wave has subsided nope it's still going and so it has definitely destroyed um almost everything we have our little water trucks coming around sucking up various water i think they're chasing the tsunami they're going to try to suck up the tsunami as it goes. And, oh man, look. So, apparently, we are now having an electrical storm. I didn't think it could get any worse, but now we're having just downpours of rain. Electricity coming down from the sky. I, I mean, I feel like we are just being smited at this point. Zillawood is going to go down in history as the most destruction-prone city in the world and so we probably i mean we built that that disaster response unit i just don't know if that is going to be enough at this point um, um let's go ahead and try to survey some damage from the thunderstorm it does look like we have some fires even though the, it is downpouring oh no our pearl tower this is you know when we built this this was a huge monument for the city Oh man, we are getting some crazy destruction. Look, oh, our cargo airport hub. We spent a ton of money on that, a couple million dollars, probably even more than that, maybe like 10 million. We spent a ton and this the city is just being destroyed. And I mean, at least, you know, people are still moving in. I really think that the destruction is is causing land value to dive down, which is causing people to just flock to Zillowood and everybody's just super happy about it. And so we um, did try to evacuate everybody. I, I don't know how well that worked. Though, I mean, we have 10 people in that one. The zero people in that one. Zero in that one. And it does look like maybe we've stopped doing cargo deliveries at the moment, which is probably smart. And we don't have a ton of people on the road. So maybe people are starting to take it seriously, though these people are... Um, I mean, this camper van's like, a, he's going to the zoo in the middle of this crisis. And this is just crazy. I mean, the, the theme park is still open. Normally, you would provide some sort of rain check for this, but 
this theme park is all about its money and so they don't want to waste a good opportunity for some time off work since everybody is uh, you know out of jobs now that it's all organic and local produce our whole downtown area has just disappeared pretty much and, and yet people are still moving in we're, we're losing a lot of money but I think we may be able to survive it and let's see so uh, just, let's so the floating gardens were getting really close for that one and I think for the other one we needed one more thing was it or did we get it we might have gotten it no oh, experience sinkhole wow this is like brutal I honestly after all that I think if a sinkhole were to come this would just be the end of it all this would not be great but I guess we'll see we've already been having some really bad luck our downtown is definitely suffering but we have some really nice um, organic shops popping up this is a nice little organic discount grocery store um, really nice and then this is like a little cafe organic coffee and tea it even has like a little patio area this is I mean really nice I think our downtown is going to be revitalized from this. We have a public market on the corner, a green market. So this would be kind of like a small Whole Foods or even like a co-op kind of scenario. I like how it has the wood paneling on there. I think that is a great touch. And it does look like they have a little bit of competition with the green shop just down the street. But um, I think it looks good. And then we have the Ecostel, the Hostel. So we have... An organic and local produce hostel. I'm not even sure of the zoning on this. I, I guess because it's high density. <clears throat> I normally do low density organic and local produce. But I really like this touch. How they have the, the patio on top of the roof. I just think it looks really cool. And then this one is abandoned. Wow, containers to go. So this was like a container shop. It looks like it, they sold little produce. Maybe some food. Parking lot was in the back. And so hopefully that rebuilds. We definitely need the tax revenue. We are kind of starting to suffer. Um, but the whole city is doing pretty good. We are still losing a lot of money, but people are moving in, which is positive. Demand for commercial is pretty low. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? We are... This is just not good. This is our main main transit terminal where all of our metro comes in i mean we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we have ten lines this would just be a huge disaster and it does look like it for some reason already got fixed that's interesting um apparently it didn't destroy from that huge sinkhole i would presume and it uh, rebuilt itself that quickly. I mean, look, the metro didn't even get inhibited by it. And the people are still flocking. Everything seems to be okay. Though it does look like maybe some lines got a little messed up. But no, they're, uh, they're doing okay. And so that is a huge positive. We That was a close call. I really felt like we were probably going to experience some issues there. But... Um, this is, you know, Zilla Woods Construction Company at its finest. They were right on it. You know, they saw the importance of this of this transit hub and, and they rebuilt it within, I mean, I think the tsunami is still going. So this tsunami has been wiping out a lot of the city for so long. We experienced a sinkhole and rebuilt our transit terminal within that time. And so, I mean, on the positive side, I think we may have now unlocked that uh whatever it was so experience this is just messed up experience tornado um i mean at this point the city is just they're they're rolling with it it's not the end of the world but the good thing is i mean we um we are still evacuating people though it looks like somebody has died in this one um probably from such a long evacuation effort uh and we just got to make sure we don't lose our electrical input because that is a huge concern. All right, so we're back up to gaining about 6,000 residents a week. And so that is positive. We should start um, making some more money. And so let's go ahead and look at our space elevator, see if anybody's even coming on this guy anymore. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at this traffic. This is crazy. What are all these people? Oh, 
you know what they're trying to evacuate people and this is causing a huge issue huge backup um oh, what what's happening now oh no a tornado is happening this you know what if and we've already said it but this is just so unlucky that's in our downtown area too right next to all our brand new organic and local produce shops we're just gonna have to rebuild we're probably gonna go bankrupt after this so what, that's a huge tornado too and who that might end up ripping through our entire city this is um unprecedented we started to evacuate a couple months ago and so we should ideally be pretty close to uh 100 and it looks like those the people in there are actually pretty happy maybe they're just unhappy about some of the sound oh and look at that it actually went right next to our uh, transit terminal so it didn't get destroyed though it does look like i mean all this land is newly available because i mean people are still moving in which is good um and then let's look at this guy so is our traffic a little better now yeah so the evacuation buses are gone and so our, our traffic should start clearing up here again um hopefully um but maybe more people are walking because the traffic is so bad and so let's see so we're still making i mean 147,000. that's i mean pretty good maybe if we drop this down to 30 we'll uh start attracting a little more people over here because I think this is like the bulk of our income at this point. But we'll, uh, we'll see, I guess. You know, a tornado's still ripping through. Um, I really would hope that this would end soon. But it does look like people are pretty happy in here. Um, even though it is, I mean, pretty much destroying everything. This is just, stay away from our freeway. No! We put so much into this freeway. We're just, and now, I mean, our organic and local produce is, oh, it's so close. We might get it. So 49.53, we're home stretched. We just need a couple more blocks. I mean, just like two or three more buildings. Though it's interesting, I would have thought that maybe the tornado um, would have destroyed a lot of this, but I guess not. You know, maybe um, it avoided all the organic and local produce shops. Because we, uh, I mean, it is hitting our freeway though, which is not great. It's going to pretty much cut off the lifeline to our city. And this tornado is, I mean, going for a long ways. It has caused a lot of destruction. Hey, look at that. Floating gardens. We did it. Totally worth it. We, uh, you know, got a ton of really cool organic and local produce shops out of it. Though it, it does look like the tornado has just ripped all the way through this. Look at all the destruction. I mean, this is... This is terrible. Um, this is not good. All right, and so this has definitely been quite a moment. Um, but let's go ahead and see if we maybe unlock that one. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of so experience earthquake too. I, this is just crazy at this point. Disaster memorial. I just. The city probably couldn't even survive an earthquake if it were to happen. I think, you know, out of this episode, we we succeeded in a lot of ways. And then we also kind of let our city down. We started off with that unexpected meteor that hit the city and destroyed our lovely airport. I really don't know what we're going to do. Um, our airport is now gone. And so we... We are definitely going to need to rebuild that, though. I don't know if the city is going to have enough money to do anything like that for quite some time. And so it could be a little while. And I didn't realize our freeway got this destroyed. All these cars are just waiting. They're like, please repair the freeway. And look, our even our, our rail line got destroyed. All these, all these trains are just waiting. So now at least, I mean, we um, repaired our our way through though it does look like this got destroyed what's happening something's happening oh man this i mean we're already experiencing such a big issue we do not need something else where is it happening man this is like happening all over it's a building on fire i mean there's going to be buildings collapsing this is i mean not good and we still have two million dollars which is pretty positive but it does look like we're having, I mean, it, it destroyed our uh, our transit terminal, which survived so many things. It was a near escape from 
the tornado it was a fast rebuild with the sinkhole but it does look like this huge fracture in the ground is going to be what does it in um and i honestly i don't know if we're going to be able to rebuild from this one this is i think at this point the city would be destroyed um it would be deemed so unlucky to live here that i just don't think people would want to want to live here and so we are just for the sake of it going to connect this up because that, then at least disaster response units would be able to get around um, though I, I don't know bring the highway is going to be the best solution right now but we are just gonna do it just for the sake of it um, so that we can get a little bit of through access And there we go, and so our highway is repaired. We got a huge traffic jam because of the destruction, but it's to be expected. Um, I mean, our city has suffered some huge losses. We have a couple of the remaining skyscrapers from our uh, tornado uh, on fire, and this is just terrible. All right, and so at least we can focus on rebuilding now and not have to worry about... Uh, a lot of different stuff. I mean, there's there's positives in this. You know, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves and just be uh, downer debbies. You know, we um, we now will have a ton of free land available for rebuilding and reshaping the city, which could be good. You know, there's a lot of positives to it. Um, I do think maybe the city will experience a form of bankruptcy, but it depends. We could rebuild fast enough because um, it does look like people are still moving in and people are generally still happier. And so... We um, are definitely having some issues with this. Our uh, our poor lines are just gone, and all these people are waiting. I mean, they're they're not giving up, and so this um, they know it's gonna come, and I, I just I don't know what they're waiting for, but but they don't want to give up. So kudos to you. Um, this I mean, the line is just crazy. These people uh, are not giving up as well i'm guessing they're just you know the tram might come and so i think with the destruction though maybe the tram is stuck like these ones are stuck and and so we'll probably just start going through and and upgrading these you know roads back to what they were in hopes of maybe uh repairing some stuff um though i i think with this amount of destruction there's probably only so much you can do yeah, I mean, but at least we would, we would want to do something, you know. You you don't want to just leave the city destroyed, even though, I mean, a lot of these are permanently damaged. Um, but we we really wouldn't want people to know that it's probably going to be permanent. Though, I, I think, I mean, having this, like, what what's happening now? Oh, man, what? No! Oh man, what? All right, we're experiencing some serious issues. I think this was that meteor strike that everybody was talking about. Because we seem to be getting bombarded. Oh, all right. Well, I mean, this pretty much. <clears throat> I don't know if we can overcome this. Uh, this meteor shower just seems to be destroying everything and I mean there goes our deep space radar I mean there goes our beautiful park in the middle this is just crazy we are definitely having some major issues uh, it's our our sea life enclosure is gone um, I mean on a positive side it's it's larger now and so we could probably rebuild a nicer one though um, there are a lot of fires, so maybe if we build another fire depot real quick, that could probably help. Um, just to, I, mean, I guess, balance out some of the priorities, make it a little bit better for our people, which would be good. So let's survey our electricity. It looks like we're doing pretty good. Um, the city has, I mean, pretty much been destroyed, but we want to stay positive. Looks like these two meteors just hit super close. Look at this guy. Oh, man. This is, like, not great. This And let's see how our evacuation efforts did. Oh, no. What is this? It looks like... Oh, man. So, I mean, maybe grouping those all up together probably wasn't the best idea. 
Um, luckily though, nobody was in those ones because the roots just weren't that great and so we didn't really lose anybody for that. It does look like we lost access to our freeway right there though and oh my god, this one got destroyed too. Alright, well, maybe the last one. And, oh, nope. Alright, whoop. We still have our tall radio mast, which is positive, and our weather radar, which uh, I guess is positive. Um, so we we don't want to give up on that. You know, we definitely want to stay positive. Um, we are experiencing some some pretty heavy fires. It does look like our forestry industry is is being burned down. Um, I mean, our fire department is probably struggling, and we are getting pretty close to uh, going bankrupt. And it does look like so experienced forest fire. I'm really surprised that we haven't had a forest fire, um, even with everything that has happened. Ooh, not good. Fire with an intensity of 5.5 is about to break out. So I guess our raider has picked up on something of a forest fire, though I'm not really sure how they detected that. It's very interesting, but we uh, definitely don't want it to hit right oh man so i guess it's just spontaneous combustion um but up oh, yep so we got the disaster memorial look at that so now i think what we'll do is we will use the crater as a larger memorial for the meteor and also for our overall negligence in in all of this but I think it, you know, it's nice. There's a couple hands and this, you know, has all the countries that were involved in relief efforts. And so we, uh, you know, at least have that. But I think, you know, for hunting down some of these, we still need to get the posh mall. Um, we need the farming specialization. And then we need 10,000 squares of industrial zone bill, which we don't have any generic industry here. So that would be kind of hard. But then we need an unemployment rate of over 50%, which I guess we could have probably done that too. Um, destruction with no casualties. That's interesting. Gain the pyramid has. So I, I thought we got that one, but I guess not. Um, and then win any three scenarios and win floodland. So I, I think that's pretty good. We hunted down a ton of unique buildings, though we definitely don't want our populace to know that. Um, but thank you for watching, and I will catch you on the next